Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. Omnipresent overpriced coffee franchise Starbucks is well known for incorrectly writing its customers' names on their orders. One conspiracy theory says the spelling mistakes are intentional, generating free publicity when users share those hilariously spelt names on social media. Going by former WWE wrestler Wade Barrett's recent experience, yeah, that, that works. When Barrett told the Starbucks chap to use his real name, Stu Bennett, on his order, the coffee chap Chain replied with some bad news, accidentally writing the name of his memorable but ultimately doomed 2010 WWE faction, The Nexus. Barrett left WWE last year, putting his wrestling career on hold to pursue one in acting. Former WWE Intercontinental and Tag Team Champion John Morrison, however, has been doing both at the same time, holding titles around the world with two films set for release this year. Year. Morrison is a current Triple Crown champion in AAA, holding their Mega, Latin American, and World Cruiserweight titles all at the same time. He's also Lucha Underground's current champion on TV, which makes his next potential move rather intriguing. Jeremy Borash announced at a press conference last month that Morrison, going by his real name, John Hennigan, had signed with GFW, the new name for TNA, to appear for the promotion's live events in New York on the 4th and 5th of August. This seemed to be for the live events only, though, as Morrison is still under contract with Lucha Underground, who have 10 episodes yet to air of their third season. Having a wrestler appear on a rival's television show, especially when they hold your top championship is considered very bad practice. But late last week, Stockton Con announced Morrison wouldn't be able to make his dates for them on the 19th and 20th of August due to a contractual agreement with GFW Impact Wrestling. Wrestling Observer Radio has since revealed it's because he'll be at the Impact Wrestling tapings from Thursday, where GFW are taping 12 weeks of television, which would take them all the way up to Bound for Glory on November 3rd. Fifth. This news could reveal several other significant ramifications in wrestling. Firstly, Lucha Underground letting their top champion appear for a rival television show when they have previously been very protective of their exclusive contracts is worrying for the program's future. Secondly, could Morrison's debut play into GFW's breaking announcement? GFW has concluded its internal consideration of the events surrounding the suspension of Alberto El Patron. We have communicated with El Patron our decision to strip him of his championship title. Alberto was suspended by GFW on the 12th of July after a domestic violence incident involving his fiancée Paige. GFW notes that while initial reports unfairly characterized El Patron's involvement in the incident in the Orlando airport, we are nonetheless disappointed with the manner in which he dealt with this situation. Alberto remains suspended from the company. In what was initially reported as routine monitoring, Ric Flair's hospitalization over a heart-related issue at the weekend appears to be more serious. With his manager tweeting last night, Are you a fan slash friend of Ric Flair? If so, we need prayers and positive energy for our living legend as he is dealing with some tough medical issues. Has John Cena's Raw return been leaked? And remember when Mickey Rourke thought he was having a legit wrestling match with Chris Jericho? Click the videos to the left to find out more, press subscribe, and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.